One could argue that I know nothing about the Vietnam War, that I'm just another self-concerned journo who thinks he's an expert just because he spent a couple of weeks in the jungle interviewing the troops and watching them comb the forest. One would be right about that, but I know what I saw. I saw young men whose morale is singing. They're tired beyond measure, way more than they ever thought their bodies can handle. Too cynical for their young age. Rain-soaked and dirty, chewed on by tropical bugs, armed with unreliable rifles, and dressed in ill-assorted uniforms. Homesick, moody, haggard, vulgar, making cruel and outrageous jokes about the atrocities of war and their fallen friends on a daily basis. I met Lieutenant Kovacs of Alpha Platoon, a 20-year-old with the stare of an old man. A boy who came to Vietnam with a photo of his high school sweetheart and a head full of JFK quotes. Despite his growing disappointment, he just enlisted for a second tour because he still has some business to attend to here. I also met his friend, Lieutenant Coleman of Bravo Platoon, a Howard University graduate and one of the smartest men I've ever met. Coleman likes to cite Martin Luther King, yet spends most of his free time with Candy Johnson, a Green Beret, decorated hero and a racist so gross that even the Grand Wizard of the KKK would blush under his hood. I met Billy, <laughs> sometimes called crazy, an insecure boy from Florida hiding his fears behind a mad bully mask. Kendrick, one of the few who knew the local language well enough to understand all the insults being thrown at him. And the smooth-tongued Scotty McGuire, who enrolled just for the money. He wants to start an Irish bar on the outskirts of Queens. I didn't meet Donald, a boy from Mississippi. I did not make it in time. He stepped on a mine and died.